Hello everyone, so in this video I will show you how you can crop this Range Rover from this image and move it to a different image like this one. So the end result will be something like this. Alright, so let me show you how you can do that. Okay, so the first step to do is to truncate the image right at the edges of the Range Rover. The way you do it, you just click on the image and then you go to format then you go all the way to the right where it says crop select that and then you click on crop okay once you do that you see that the edges of this image changed okay so basically you select the line that starts from this edge and you just move it close to the edge of the car and you do the same thing for the rest now for this bottom edge, I'm just going to stop right here because I want to capture the shadow of this Range Rover. Once you do this, you just click outside the image, like here. The next step is to save this image. So I just right click on the mouse and select save as picture. And then I'm going to save it as Range Rover. All right, so the next step is to draw a line around the SUV. And before I do that, let me zoom in so it would make it much easier for me to see the edges of the Range Rover. Basically, the way you do it, you click on the image and then you go to insert and then you select shapes and then you click on this shape here and it's called freefall. Okay, once you do that, you see that the cursor changed into a plus sign. So I like to identify a point that is easy to see or like this one here. I click on that. I left click on the mouse and then I move to a next edge and I keep going. I keep clicking on the left button as I am moving. And I don't have to be super precise now because I can fix that later. As you see here, I can go outside. You see the line there kind of went into the river. Or I can go inside here in the car. That's fine. I can fix that later. Okay. So let me finish this a little bit quicker. And uh, I'll show you how you can fix. All right, as you see me now getting close to the point where I started and uh, I'm gonna try to get it right at the point where I started right here you see that's before even I click on the mouse the image changed to show me what I did now I can click and see what happened okay now what you want to do is right click on the mouse and go to format shape here on the bottom and then go to fill and select no fill all right so i don't need this column here i'm gonna close it next i go to insert i'm sorry i go to format okay and i click on edit shape right here and select edit points and as you see here i'm gonna zoom in I can fix those issues that I did just to show you how I can fix things I can just move this dot back here and move this one back here and move these other two dots same thing right here and same thing go here and just fix it and go all the way to the edges okay so I'm gonna do this and it all depends how pre how much precise you want to be um, so I'm just gonna keep doing this alright so when you feel that everything looks good then you want to get rid, rid of the image and just keep the line okay so I'm gonna click on the image and I'm gonna delete it okay and that's my line that I just dropped Okay, so the next step is to put the Range Rover image and basically you click on the line, you select format and then you select shape fill 
okay and you go down to picture and here you're gonna go to the image that you we save it actually the Range Rover image the one that I call the Range Rover this one here and then I click insert and as you see here that's my image so all what I want to do now is call the image that I want to use so I'm gonna call picture and then let's select this image here which is the first one that I showed you and all I'm gonna do is take this image copy it put it here and then maybe just narrow it down make it a little bit smaller you can play with the image all right so once you set the size of the SUV and everything then the last thing you want to do is to kind of smooth the transition between the edges of the car or the SUV to the landscape behind it so the way you do it you select your image or the car in this case then you go to format and then you see here there is a feature picture effects you select that and then you go down to soft edges and then uh, you select the edge that you feel is the right one so it seems to me five is the good one or I can probably go a little bit above five so as I go up you can see what's happening here in the edges I'm increasing the soft edges so I think six would be a good choice thank you very much for watching hope you liked my tutorial and hope to see you in my next video thank you